G'day guys, Zukumani here. So back in Star Maid, um, a bunch has happened since the last time I played. Uh, I was just basically farming materials, trying to get as many materials as I could, and as many credits as I could. Uh, so I'm at a nice little number now, at 8 million credits or so. And then, as you can see down below on my, com on my command bar, I have a lot of materials now. A lot of everything now, really. So I'm really happy with where I am. So I'm going to start to build um, bigger items. And the first thing that was on my cards, I was I was throwing it up in the air. It was either going to be my first big capital ship, or the space station where all my ships are going to be held. So I've sorted out a location on where I sort of wanted to put the spaceship. Uh, sorry, where I was where I wanted to start the space station, sorry. Uh, so I've got that area sorted out. Now, I'm very happy with the location. It's good, it's nice and centralized. There's uh, shops nearby, there's a lot of planets nearby, there's a lot of stuff that I can sort of utilize, especially when I start building factories and start to refine materials. I'll be able to sort of find, like, mine out entire planets, getting as many materials as I can and, you know, processing them and continuing on. So, this is very early design, but this is going to be sort of the, I guess, the cockpit or the main command center of, of, of my uh, capital ship. Now, um, again, you know, I have mentioned that I am a big fan of a lot of things when it comes to, I guess, uh, Wing Commander and basically anything that involves spaceships. I'm a massive fan when it comes to it. And there's a little game coming out, and I say little game very lightly because it's actually going to be a massive game. And it's coming out sometime next year, uh, late next year, sorry, and it's called Star Citizen. Now, if anyone who is, who is a fan of Star Citizen or a fan of Wing Commander um, will, will know of Star Citizen, basically. It, it is going to be an amazing, um, a, a, an amazing, uh, I guess, space flight simulator game. Uh, I'm going to be getting it day one. I'm already a backer. I was an original backer. And uh, when that comes out, I'm just going to be playing that full time like crazy. In the meantime, though, this game is going to fill my addiction when it comes to that type of game. So, um, they recently announced during the live stream that they were going to make, uh, oh, so sorry, that they finally unleashed, designed, or what it's actually going to look like for, um, a capital ship called the Idris Corvette. Now, um, you can no longer buy the ship anymore, but you will be able to get it in-game, I think. But anyway, that's beyond the point. Uh, they released screenshots of what it's actually going to look like in game so i decided for my first ship that i was going to build my first capital ship i was going to recreate that idris corvette now on the screen right now you'll see what the actual ship looks like now i'm trying to do it as to scale as best i can but it's already going to be slightly smaller than directly to scale what i will do though because i've already started building the uh, the actual I guess the command center here is that I'll probably make the bow of the ship a lot bigger so that it could hold other little ships in there. Um, that's more than likely what I'll do when I get to that stage. Uh, but as you can see from the picture on here on um, on the screen right now, this is sort of a, a I guess as close as I was ever going to get it. I mean, I have mentioned that I am not. Um, amazing at, uh, at building, especially in Minecraft. I'm not that great in building in there either. But this ship, I mean, it's looking fairly close to where I sort of wanted it anyway. These arms that come off actually are like little wings. And, and to be honest, once this is built, this on its own could be like its own little ship. But uh, it's sort of mounted. If you have a look at the other picture, it's sort of mounted on top of the main on the main hull of the ship, and uh, it actually has two little like I guess little command seats down in here, which control weapons and, and and other systems like that. So that's what I'm sort of going to do. The ship will have automated turrets on it and uh, and everything like that. It'll have a full missile bar uh, missile bay and. Um, it's going to be a force to be reckoned with. I mean, I've already got sort of designs in my head on how I sort of want to uh, build the reactor core, how, how I want shielding to work, how I want individual shielding to work on each of the... Um on each of the uh, uh, the turrets that I'm going to make, the automated turrets. And then um, 
yeah, it's, it's just going to be one of those crazy, crazy ships that I'm going to be very happy when it once it's complete. But uh, because I'm building all of this by myself, I mean, I don't have a server, so I'm doing this all by myself. I have no one who can sort of really help me in that sense, so the build on this is not going to be as fast as I would have liked it to be. But in saying that, I mean, I'm going to dedicate this, this entire week to this ship. And uh, throughout the week, uh, probably daily almost, I'll do little update videos of sort of how far I've progressed and sort of what I'm planning next. And hopefully by the end of the week, you will sort of see a almost completed product, if not a completed product of this ship. So I'm very excited to continue on with this. Uh, let me just show you down here real quick. Now, uh, the, this is the original ship that I built. I never finished it, sadly, just because I want to sort of rebuild this to scale this this is the sort of uh the um sg1 stargate sg1 uh prometheus ship this is the i think it's 3304 prometheus um this is the uh oh, 304 sorry this is the first iteration of it i mean it's nowhere near complete uh, it never was complete. I sort of just fitted it out with a whole bunch of weapons, and now I just go kill pirates with it to farm. And then this ship over here is basically my mining tool. Now, it's it's a pretty... I mean, the design of it is not great, but it does what I want it to do. So it has a lot of individual sort of... Um, uh, mining lasers here and they're all pretty pretty long and they're all sort of stacked in the sense so they're all individual as well so they're in clusters of four uh, around each one of these sort of um, um, power power conduits uh, so yeah it, it worked out for what I wanted it to do and it, it does mine out quite a lot quite quickly I might just fit it with um, with some uh, with some shielding eventually just in case I'm out trying to mine one, one of these planets and um and, uh, you know, a raiding party of pirates come by and anything like that. I want to sort of have enough shielding on this thing so that I can get out of there ASAP and back to, I guess, my base, which will have automatic turrets. And as you can see, like... Oh, oh, wrong button. As you can see, on the ground here, this is sort of the base area of where I'm sort of going to start to build my, uh, my uh, space station or what I want to sort of do with it. Uh, it's a bit buggy at the moment because the ship is actually moving. Let me just stop the ship. Recentralize it. I'm glad I figured it out. It's just by pressing C and it like pivots the ship around and, and centralizes it for you. So it's really, really amazing. I really do like that. So, going back out here, um, what this area was... Now, there's a current bug within in the latest build of the game that most people know about. Um is that you got these build blocks, right? This little block right here, it's a build block. Now, you used to be able to fit a build block, just place it down on an asteroid, and then you could build a space station off the asteroid. Now, at the moment, when you place it onto an asteroid, it actually bugs out, and you cannot enter into build mode, sadly. So, to avoid that, Firstly, I started to, uh, I went down to a planet and started to build my space station down there on the planet, but actually up in orbit of the planet. But I found out that the higher I got up, I was trying to see if I could break orbit while building blocks, like in a straight line straight up, and see if I could break orbit and sort of just have it sort of stationary up in the sky type thing, not connected to the planet. But uh, when you start building within a planet surface, it's actually stuck in orbit. Meaning that, um, as you can see from these planets over here, they are constantly moving throughout space. That goes for every planet that, that you see within this game. They are constantly moving. And because of that, when I built it up miles, I'm talking miles and miles high up into the atmosphere, I could even see the planet properly. That's how high I built up into the air. But the structure was constantly moving with the planets, meaning that I could not physically stand on this platform or on, on a platform and stay stationary because the whole thing would move and I because of, because my body was technically in orbit or in space I would not stay planted on, on you know I would not stay planted on the actual surface itself so I scrapped that idea entirely I think one of these planets, uh, I believe it's the green one, that one in the far distance near the sun. I believe that's where I started to do it. I think it's still over there too, so I need to go back over there and destroy it. Just because there's so many blocks that I could I could reuse. So what I ended up doing was, I found a space station. 
Now, you can find these abandoned space stations everywhere throughout the galaxy. I came down to this and I wanted to see if I could plant a, um, a block onto it. And I found out that I could. So, it was just a simple matter of planting the block down on it. And then I just started destroying the entire thing using the build commands within, uh, within the... Um, within the block. Now if you hold down left control you can adjust the figures to like a 10 by 10 by 10 block and I was just deleting 10 by 10 by 10 blocks of, uh, of, of the structure like every click just delete 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 and I got most of it but there was a lot of little fiddly shit that I couldn't get and it would sort of bug down on me and that's why I built this ship here to sort of get the rest of it. Now um so, I took this entire space station. The reason why I destroyed it and didn't build off it is that I wanted to build my space... I have I have the plans in my head and written down on, like, sort of doodled on paper anyway, of what I want the space station to look like. And I didn't want to have to sort of build around a structure or build off another structure. So, I just wanted to delete it entirely, just wipe it off, wipe it out of the galaxy type thing. Uh, but in doing so, I, and I managed to get a hell of a lot of materials when it comes to... Um, to everything really like I managed to get um, so many different blocks of just building blocks I mean look at that I've got so many of these uh, the little um, uh, da -da -da -da, what's it called uh, the the tool tips they're sort of buggy at the moment uh, it's because I haven't uh, relogged the computer uh, I re reloaded the game, sorry. So they're sort of overlapping each other. It doesn't work for all of them, but for some things, like this here is supposed to be, uh, I think, just rocks, but it actually comes up as a unit, like a utility unit. And, uh, yeah, so it's, it's just a little buggy right now, but that's fine. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys sort of what I'm planning here, where I'm going to start to build. This big ship up here, I mean, already, just the cockpit, uh, just the cockpit alone, co it alone, sorry, um, is, is almost as large as this ship here, my first original build. So the design of it is going to be absolutely massive. And if I zoom out, honestly, this ship, where it is right now, is going to well surpass this entire platform and probably end right about where the cursor is right now. So it's going to be a massive ship. It's going to have little ships inside, or so that's what I'm going to do for it. And they're going to have their own individual little docking bays and everything like that. So it's going to be really good once it's all done. It's going to be a massive project for me. And um, hopefully, at the end of it all, I can uh, get it all looking nice and pretty for you guys. So there we go. A nice start. A good start to, uh, to building this. So... Um, the entire ship, you will be able to navigate through the entire ship, uh, both internally and externally. Uh, there will be several entry points within the ship itself. Um, these two areas down here will be solely for remote turrets, I'm going to think. Uh, but there's also going to be different camera angles. We're using different cockpits as well throughout the ship. And um, so, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully it all works out. Hopefully it starts to look... Um, a bit better for the next video. I want to start working on, I guess, the uh, the outline of the hull, where the hull is going to be. Um, also, start to um, sort of start to section off areas such as like uh, cargo bay. Um, yes, yeah, so, such as cargo bay, uh, where the where the reactor core is going to be, where the hangar is going to be. Plus, like, little other things, probably, like, little rooms, individual little mess halls and things like that so that people can go in. Uh, so, yeah, um, a nice start to it. I'm very happy with how it's sort of going. I'll start to put some more pretty little designs, like the little angle pieces and all that, over the wings. And uh, But as it looks right now, this could actually be a ship on its own, you know. Um, it's very, uh, I guess, uh, Star Trek, in a sense. Um... I know, it just reminds me of Klingon, but hey, that, that's what the top of the ship's going to look like, and that this section is going to be connected to the main ship, which is going to be probably about three levels, uh, maybe four, we'll sort of see how that goes, but uh, yeah, this little entry point here will be uh, an elevator system, which will take you down to, I guess, the main hull, and then from there, there'll be other elevator systems, and yeah, that looks about it for now. Anyway, my name is Zukumani. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them down below. I do read them all. And I'll see you all next time.